How's it going? Brendan here, a.k.a. Mr. Weaver Face. I haven't sat over here in my game room in a while. And, uh, yeah, just admiring my NES collection. Because I'm going to have a lot of NES games here uh, to show in this pickup video. I'm up to around, I think it's 433. And with this pickup, I'll be close to, if not at 450. So, very excited to get to that number. Uh, and it's a struggle collecting for games for systems uh, when you have a lot already you have everything that's already out there and I have so many more to go it's kind of rough <laughs> it's kind of rough finding games for the NES lately man I mean look at all of them they're so amazing freaking Friday the 13th Mega Man 5 I gotta organize a little bit I left some room there because I know it was gonna add a bunch but uh, yeah and box games up there I don't even know this not even making the video, but anyway, uh, so yeah, eBay had a 15% off deal a little while back, so these are all the games that I got on eBay. First one's Raid on Bungaline Bay. This one I remember playing on the Commodore 64 a lot, and I loved playing this. This was one of my favorite games on the Commodore 64, so, and the other thing about eBay games, okay, first off. They say they are clean and tested and working, but I had to clean <laughs> and get all of these working. Uh, so that kind of sucks. So I would not take stock in what any seller says. Now, I, I, I honestly do clean all my games if I resell on eBay and make sure they are tested um, and working and functioning properly. But so many eBay listings, man, it's, it's ridiculous. So... Uh, yeah, you're, you're taking a chance anyway, but, you know, eBay protects the buyer anyway. So you're good. Oh, well, we got a Tension Game, Pac-Mania. And we have Space Shuttle, Project Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle Project. This actually isn't, it's kind of cool because you have to do certain things to, like, launch your uh, Space Shuttle. However, this is going to complete my... Space Shuttle. I had the box only in the styrofoam. I still need the uh, still need the manual for it, but uh, I was keeping my eye out for that game, and th this was a good price, and I got it at 15% off. Um, and unfortunately, I don't remember all the prices I paid on these, but uh, here is a non-licensed game, which is actually pretty decent. The Ultimate Stunt Man. Check out some footage on YouTube about that. It looks pretty good. Graphics are great. Um, and the music was pretty cool too, so, uh, and, you know, unlicensed games, there, there's some gems out there, uh, and I finally, finally fulfilled my Mega Man collection for the NES. We got Mega Man 2, so I have one through six now. You saw five over here, I just picked this one up last time, and two is the last one, even though that wasn't the rarest. I think five's the rarest, actually, so that was... The hard one to get. But Mega Man 2 got a good price with 15% off. Uh, we also got Magmax. You guys know what that game is. Treasure Master. Now, I don't know if that's any good or not, but it was one that I didn't own. We also got Mystery Quest. And other than me cleaning all of these, like all the... Oh, this one has writing on it. Uh, but all the labels look really good. I made sure the condition looked pretty good before I opened them, opened them up. So, Amanda Smith, I am sorry I bought your King's Knight. And then Zanuck. That's a shooter. I love shooters now. I'm getting into the shooters. And speaking of shooters... The one straggler I picked up that's not NES on eBay was Blazion. I got a really good price on this. And it's an Atlas game, so you can't go wrong with that. Alright, second pickup was... You know my buddy John. John from the Wrestling Dorks. Um, he, uh... You know, he, he, he had some games. He had, he had a Nintendo. I was, I've been selling a couple of his uh, games and systems for him on eBay. Trying to get him some good prices. 
Um, and he had a bunch of NES games. I was like, oh, okay, I have it, I have it, I have it. But there were four I didn't have in my collection. Um, so I had a game uh, that was signed by the angry video game nerd that he wanted. It was a I didn't even get the autograph in person, uh, but uh, it came in like a pickup I got like a long time ago, and the guy threw it in there, and I was like, all right. Um, but uh, yeah, I traded my AVGN signed. Castlevania 2 <laughs> uh, for these four games. So we got Cuber with a local store tag. Actually, I think that's GameStop. Cuber. We got Red and Snippy Show, Buckaroos. And I love Ghostbusters, but I know this game sucks for the NES, but didn't own it. We got Ghostbusters. Da -da 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 and pretty de pretty decent title balloon fight. So yeah, pretty you know two straightforward pickups, nothing too exciting. Just one of them was a trade though. I haven't done too many trades as pickups, uh, but I had a trade pickup and a uh, pickup on eBay. I am hoping. This is what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, Black Friday. I love buying video games on Black Friday deals, so um, I may do some live streaming trying to find Black Friday deals, and I'll announce them. If I find something, I'm gonna post something to the channel. So if you want to stay tuned for finding Black Friday deals when something goes live, I scour the internet, and when those games go on sale, I'm trying to get it right away. So if you want to be in tune with that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing some uh, live videos on Black Friday for that. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, Red Dead Redemption videos out for you guys. If you like Red Dead, it's amazing. you got to check that game out. It's fantastic. I didn't get to play it all today, and I missed riding my horse. So, oh, God. okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just rambling on here now. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and take care. Just Blue Face signing off.